TJ got an uh, idiot? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're not. I, I'm surprised you're letting Carson. No, go have at this. it. Have I at mean, it. I don't know. Carson's got to get one for trying to wreck the field for three laps when you can easily get off the racetrack. Uh, this isn't the truck series. And I, what I tell you earlier, like, if you have a flat tire, you have a problem. You pit like an adult. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't throw a tantrum oh, out there and man. try to tee somebody up and, you know, ruin. I'm, listen, if I get it next time, well, I, get, I wish you could say it on the radio because if Bubba blew his tire, I want to be like, spin out. Like, you're going to lose three laps coming down pit road. Spin the f*** out. Like, pr- I mean, that's that's the problem. Everyone knows that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Like I mean, you can't, yeah. you, uh, Bubba and knows because he paid fifty thousand yeah. dollars for hitting it. <laughs> well, because Bubba's not going to do that. <laughs> an idiot, but, but one idiot, Bubba Wallace, <laughs> retrospective. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, if, if someone really wanted to spin out in that cycle, they could have. It was oh, easily. so easy to do. And I'll be honest, there's going to be real. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be really hard to tell if someone did it on purpose or not. Oh yeah, not very that, difficult yeah, to tell. Yeah, I sure. thought all the well, you drivers, can do it on purpose. You just can't say you did it on purpose. Well, I mean, uh, some. I feel like it, it in. Over the course of history, it's somewhat obvious when someone does it on yeah. purpose, yeah, right? Yesterday wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been obvious. When your throttle you trace goes it. from like 30 to 100 real quick. and you, then No, no, you don't even have to do that. Well, yeah. Well, I'm saying, but it's it's obvious when you see that. But you could probably do it now. Just No, no. I mean, if, if I mean, I was basically turning right through the corner the last like 15 laps. It felt like I was racing bristle dirt. Yeah. It, like, I don't know. I'm glad the cup drivers yesterday did a... I mean, that was some of the most fun, crazy stuff that I've seen. And those guys, we like Dell Jr. said, they were catching each other, hitting each other in the middle of the corner because they weren't – the closing rates were something they're not used to. Like, you guys don't have closing rates like that that often. Yeah. And it was awesome. Tyler, do you have an idiot? Yeah, I'll give it to myself. I <laughs> tried to wreck my teammate. And then how <laughs> – how dare I not get out of Josh Berry's way? I mean, what were you doing? That why was really we, rude of me. Why were you holding Josh? Yeah, out? that was not that was uncalled for on my part. So I apologize to <laughs> Bubba's like, what happened? I go, Well, I said he wrecked himself to not wreck you, basically. But Josh was the one that started it. <laughs> I said Josh gave him two big shots in the middle of the corner yeah. and then he just tried to stay off. I mean, I, I missed out. the bottom, but I mean I I had a bad feeling when I was grabbing my tires. I'm like, oh boy, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> and it just hey, it would not go to the I'm bottom. I'm just glad you got a really good restart. That was a good restart, though, because like you cleared Josh and let us Oh around. my <laughs> gosh. I mean, I basically just floored it, spinning the tires. Bubba shoved me on by. I'm like, all right, sick. And then, um, yeah, then I they got in Zane's way, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you backed into Zane. I do need to text. He, I, I got to give him credit. Like, you know, I, I in no way thought Zane did anything wrong. Yes. Everyone was kind of no. picking him apart for it. He committed he, it was done. I need to get, get back to him. He texted me right away and apologized. And I, I really appreciate that from him. But I mean, it's just circumstances there. I get first pick. And I was having a beer with a guy last night about. You know, Coda and how I thought it would go and how he thought it would go. And it just so happens that Tyler Reddick <laughs> is pretty f-ing good at Coda. And he's my, he's my pick. So I'm going with Tyler. I get to pick first. I'm glad I didn't tell you I wasn't feeling good about it. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> if I don't have half a second on the field, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think I go next, right? Yeah. Man. The good news is you can't lay up because I went big. Big gun right yeah, there. That's why you Fine. lay up. Um, I will go. Uh, is AJ running that race? AJ is. I don't think. Is it, I don't know if they've announced it, but he is running that race. Oh, well, then I'll take AJ when they well, announce it. Breaking news. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope they've announced it, but if, if they haven't, <laughs> it's, it's it is now. <laughs> surely, surely it's out because the I'm sure the Bob Pockers has got that little thingy where they all sign up to run. And it's got his name on the it. Thingy, it doesn't come out until tomorrow. The, the entry list. The entry list. <laughs> <laughs> that, old, that NASCAR old, old puts together. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. big, but it's cute. The little thingy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that? Do hickey? Do funny? Do funny. Do, do, do funny. funny. Yeah. Do funny. Mm. Tyler. Who, who's that? <laughs> what? We live in. Oh, oh um, yeah. you need to texture this. Week. I have an idea. Babes didn't give you one? He did give me one, but I, mm. I'm also losing, so. Love you, Mapes, but. Tyler. Well, who at least tell us who he told you to pick before you pick. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. Chastain's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Deal. That's Chastain. Who would you pick? Uh, I went with AJ. I'll take Chase Elliott. Hmm. Oh. Chase Elliott's dude. Yeah. He Tyler, is. if you're behind him on the last corner, move his <laughs> ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> dive bomb coming. Dive bomb his ass. And then when you get out, be like, hey, I'm really yeah, sorry. If it's real yeah. sustained, you definitely CBC move video. his ass. Now, if you've ever seen me dive bomb, I'll clear him by like four cars. There ain't going to be no contact. If you, uh, <laughs> if you move Chase Elliott to win, it's going to be great for a little while. Then you're going to get home and you're going to look at social be, media hey. and you're not going to have a good time. My I, kid's going to be a little torn. Yeah, your kid will be mad. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I hope to God I'm not spotting for you again this race. <laughs> <laughs> last year we wrecked oh, yeah. uh, like lap ten. I had to go spot for like the last corner for Tyler. <laughs> what, what do we expect Dakota though? Honestly, what so are you with I think with the newer downforce package, it, it's shown that there are some differences in what the car wants and where it wants to be. So obviously, you can't just. I, I don't think you're gonna be able to take what you took last year and expect the same performance out of it there's going to be some changes that have to happen so that opens up the opportunity for other teams to hit it miss it um it, it does seem like this newer car this newer downforce package isn't as sensitive as is what we've been racing so um i think you'll see similar racing i don't think people are going to be running a whole lot tighter you know it's a it's a tricky track to be able to stay within a car length through the s's and other areas so um, with, uh, I think the biggest thing is they've repaved, um, from turn, turn, exit to turn nine through turn 11 is all repaved. That was one of the most wore out places on the track. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of grip there. Uh, does that hurt passing there? I don't know. Uh, they repaved the braking zone and turn 12 in the braking zone into 12 through turn 12. So there's gonna be more grip there. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> you need grip right? everywhere. Yeah. We talking then, about oh, uh, good. There's, that, no, there's like 87 that, corners. That's that's that one corner ain't gonna help you that much. I, I, think, I think the area that's gonna <laughs> affect people the most is you get pretty much three quarters away through the carousel and it goes from that old asphalt to new asphalt. Um, so I think people are gonna be struggling through there and then you're just gonna be hauling through turn 19 again, repaved uh, as we go from repaved asphalt out onto the old bumpy runoff. So. It's, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm curious to see how much – certainly lap time is going to be faster. Um, don't know how much it's going to change the racing. We'll another, another big question for me is right now it's going to be 78 degrees and windy, no rain. Uh, Shane Van Gisbergen in a cup car at a road course. Obviously, Chicago, he kicked y'all's ass. What does he do this weekend? What, like, what do, What's what he do driving? You, where do you – huh? What's he driving? The, uh, He's driving a collar car. Yeah. What's AJ driving? Another collar car. Oh, okay. If so, AJ doesn't race, I get Shane. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Not really how that works. AJ will be in an open car, uh, so I'm obviously got to qualify. Gotta qualify. Um, but Shane Van Gisbergen, what what do you think he's going to do this weekend? Because he's going to be a big topic going into this I thing. feel like if this was our first time going here, I think he'd have an advantage for sure. Uh, I feel like we've all raced here enough. We kind of know the racetrack, but certainly his expertise in the areas that he, that he has will, will show up. I mean, I expect him to be fast, um, but who knows? I mean, it could be a surprise. Uh, the deal, like like at, at Chicago, right? He had he had speed, but the, the the biggest thing that helped him there is he knew where the line was and wouldn't cross it. You know, he he was smart. He was methodical about it. He knew how he could put other drivers in bad spots. Where I made my mistakes, I was just push 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 yeah. until I hit something. Unfortunately, Sh Shane shouldn't have won that race. Somebody else here. Should I really screwed that up. Right but up but right, hey, right it made for a great story. Right right whatever it whatever it takes. It's a defense. Can you yeah. not screw up this weekend? <laughs> well, the nice thing about Coda is there's not a wall at every. <laughs> Every <laughs> breath of off racetrack, right? So, like at Coda, everything's a lot of runoff. Yeah. They don't. I mean, we got track limits through the S's, and that's about it. So it's perfect for me. I, I blow through the corner. Oh, hey, great! We never. Lap. We never. Uh, got how many races race have you given away in the last two years? <sighs> Not you specifically, but no. I that. The 40, how many I'll races have you given away in the last two years? Oh my gosh! Seriously? You know your team. It doesn't matter. Y'all, you're all together. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt Bush and I had a conversation about this. He he told me to stop thinking about it, but uh, it's, that's what I'm trying to get you to do right now. Is realize you got to stop this. Could yeah. you you could have how many more cup wins? It's a lot, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of it's not him. Uh, I, mean, I, I play, there's a I couple, play my role. There's a couple that you I play my role. Yeah, Chicago is a big obvious. One. Chicago's one. Uh, <laughs> Rich Richmond. Believe it or not, I never thought I'd have a shot at winning at I, Richmond. I think, that was another. I, one. I truly think this is a year, and I ain't saying this because you're sitting here. I told you this last night. I think Tyler Reddick wins three to five races, and he wins championship. I think you're there. If you don't, if you stop up. If I stop wrecking my teammate and <laughs> holding up the floor. 